Welcome back guys. So as the title says, we are listing off six things we've learned in six months of van life. So January 31st was six months of us living in the van. Our van anniversary. Our van anniversary, <laughs> which seems totally crazy that it's been six months and we've only gone whatever yeah, we won't get into that <laughs> we won't get into that the first thing that we've learned is that happiness is 100 percent in the little things at least for us but i feel like that is a that is for everyone yeah. you just gotta f like find those little things and appreciate them so some of the little things are like when i seen seals for the first time i've never seen a seal or when I seen a bobcat. <laughs> oh my God, is that a freaking bobcat? That's a freaking bobcat! Look! On the road, those are both super exciting moments that just filled me with joy. Or when a meal that you've cooked actually turns out like delicious. So many times I look at a recipe and I'm like, oh my God, that sounds so good. And then I try to make it and it just bombs. So. Yeah. That's a good one too. And lastly, of course, spending those little moments with people or doggies that you love. <laughs> All right, Jay. Well. So for number two, we learned that hard work pays off in more ways than just actually making money. More so earlier on when we were actually driving around places, I would spend a lot of time editing our vlogs and and filming them. And filming them, yeah. And I mean, we're obviously not making any money off these videos right now, but it still feels really good when you, just when you work hard on something and you like the way it turned out or someone else likes the way it turned out. It's, right. It's pretty rewarding. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice rewarding. accomplishment for sure. Yeah. And what else? This van. Oh, duh, the van. God. Jesus. Yeah, this is our home now, so I mean. And we put in a lot of. Put a lot of man hours in on this. This is probably the hardest we've ever, definitely the hardest we've ever worked together on something was mm -hmm. this van for sure. And yeah, it definitely paid off. We now have our own house. Number three, I think is a lesson we have all learned this year or last year is that life never goes as expected or planned. So obviously when we started building our van in May, we were like, oh, this coronavirus, it's gonna be gone by the end of the year. Like we will be in California for the winter. Like we won't have to worry about none of the snow or nothing. And we are now, you know, in Nova Scotia, embracing <laughs> the winter. We had to install a heater. This light needs to go off and this one needs to stay. It's going, it's going. I might be getting a little buzzed off the diesel fumes. <laughs> we adapted to our circumstances. Uh, it's slippery up here too. I bet. Ah! <laughs> oh, did I get you? And we have tried to make the most out of it and we really just went with it. You can't, I mean, you can't fight it. Uh, Obviously right. we've done our part to um, avoid it and avoid spreading it and all that stuff, but you can't, there's nothing we can do to change what's happening. It's already written out. Right, exactly. I heard that in a podcast. She I was, was listening, listening to, to it. yeah. <laughs> uh, odd Vice, if you wanna check out the podcast, super good. But um, yeah, exactly. Everything's already written out for you. You're just kind of, you're just living the life and you just gotta go with it. And if we had to just, you know, thrown it all out the window because it didn't go as planned, I think we would have been pretty upset with yeah, ourselves. So. Definitely. so yeah, we've still, uh, we got to explore so much of our home, right. like uh, places that were only like an hour away that we had never gone. We get to spend a lot of time with family and friends because we were uh, lucky enough that in the summer, a lot of our restrictions were lifted because uh, the Maritimes had done so well in 
um, not spreading the virus. Right. So we get to travel a lot of the Maritimes as well. And we had a lot of fun doing that. We for did. Sure. It, it was a good summer. Like I said, it wasn't what we expected, but right. we still made the most out of it. Mm -hmm. So our number four thing that we learned is that we really don't need a bunch of like material items to make us happy, I guess. I mean, when we first moved in here, we, you know, we got everything together that we thought we needed and right away we realized <laughs> we had too much. So you just find things that you enjoy and that's really all that you need. You don't need every fancy gadget out there or a home full of knickknacks. I had a lot of stuff to downsize and I can honestly say I haven't thought of one thing and been like, ah, oh, I shouldn't have got rid of that. Like there's, there's been nothing. The fifth thing we've learned is to embrace all seasons of life. So that kind of ties in with number three that life is never as expected. So you want to brace, whatever. But I um, despised winter every single year. I'm not saying I'm in love with it <laughs> this year, but I've definitely found it more bearable. I've actually gone outside and done some activities. And winter is really a time of like resetting, I feel like, and working on you or a business or whatever. It's just a time that you can put in a lot of work and reflect and all of that stuff. And then summer is more of like the playtime in, in my mind anyways. Mm -hmm. Obviously you still have to work, but you get to go out and do more exploring. It's much more enjoyable to be outside. And then fall, everything is just beautiful. And spring, everything is new. And that's obviously just the seasons. There's also like seasons of life, which is just, you know, right now it's pandemic season. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't embrace the pandemic, but you embrace what comes along with that. That is number five. So number six is kind of just more of like a, I don't know, I feel like the other ones are more like deep yeah. and kind of whatever, yeah. but this is more just like a funny little thing, but it's just uh, hot showers are a luxury. That is one <laughs> thing we definitely learned fast. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, I wouldn't actually say fast because when it was warm, right. the cold showers weren't too bad. Weren't terrible, yeah. I'm not saying we're taking cold showers right now. Don't get me wrong. We are not out here using our portable shower. No, no. <laughs> uh, when we first went out on the road, we went to PEI. And PEI had closed all of their public showers at yeah. all of their beaches. And I just went to shower, and they're closed. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you know what? F them, I'm crawling under the shower door on this dirty ass floor and the knob is taken off the shower because apparently they're not idiots and new people are going to try and do that. <sighs> so we learned pretty quick that showers are not as accessible as maybe we had thought that they would be. Yeah. Um, a lot of our beaches here in Nova Scotia don't have showers. I think we found one that did. Yeah. So we did travel to that area quite often. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and then the other place we shower is just at our families right now. So we do use different showers. Yeah. Uh, we're not always at the same place. So we just have a little shower caddy that we'll bring into people's houses. All right, well, that is our six things we've learned in six months of van life. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying our videos. And thank you for everyone that's new here, people ha who have been there for the full six months or before, even in our van build days. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I yep. think it's like 70% of the people that watch our videos aren't subscribed, so. Oh, geez. Yeah, so definitely yeah, subscribe. Hit that, hit, that, hit that button. We appreciate that you're here, even though We've been fairly stationary, yeah. but there's light at the end of the tunnel, for sure. Like <laughs> yeah. it's, it, we're getting close, I can feel it. Right, vaccines are coming out and yeah. And then when that happens, we're- We're gone, We're baby. full force, man, it's gonna be wild. But yeah, enjoy the rest of your week and we will see you on Friday. Ooh, gagging. <laughs> what are you Pick out your favorite things, which I'm sure, Dex, please don't walk by the tripod. Oh, I know. Yes, good job, guys. Kept us safe another day from the vicious person walking down the sidewalk. Would it really be one of our videos if these guys didn't just <laughs> lose it? Lose it at least <laughs> once.